So I have a Channel Master 7500 TB1. This has the internal hard drive on it. Um, I went through and I tried to reboot it, followed all the instructions. It still continues to give me errors even after reformatting it, setting it back to factory defaults. And so I'm going to see if I can't replace the internal hard drive because I don't want to go and have an external hard drive hooked up. To start with, I flip it over upside down. There's eight screws on the back, so let me see if I can't get those eight screws out. In order to get these eight screws out, I did have to take off the little sticker that said it would void my warranty. Um, I didn't mind that, it was already out of warranty anyway. So that sticker was rather meaningless. Okay, I've got all the screws out of it. I'm going to turn it back over so it's upside down right side up in this case with it right side up Let's see if I can't pick up the case So there we go. Now I'm on the inside. So what I have here is the hard drive. You can see it's mounted. To get this out, all I want to do is take this drive right here and I'm going to just gently wiggle it and it's going to slide itself back out. Now I've got the hard drive out. Next thing I want to do is in order to get this little case off, it's got little rivets in it. So I use just a knife. I very gently put my knife in here. I don't want to break pins but I just pry this thing out. I'm going to go ahead and pry the front side of it out first. Now I've got that it'll pivot. And use this to see if I can't get the back side of it out now. I'm trying to be careful with it. If I hear any kind of plastic snapping or cracking or something like that. I'm being too aggressive with it. I had it easier like I turned it so that it hinged like that and that made it a little bit easier for me to get in here and get the other pins out on the other side. There we go. So I now have the hard drive, the old one removed from the mounting bracket. Set that aside. I'm going to get my new one, put it back in place. I'll just repeat the reverse of what I did. For anyone curious, I'm using a Western Digital, a two and a half, one terabyte drive. Um, nothing special, but I don't. I'm not recommending Western Digital. It just so happened to be the one I could get a good price on. So I've got it back together. Everything's ready. So let's go ahead and put it back in. back in.
I'm just making sure everything was lined up on the covers. I'll put my screws back on and take it back in, format it, and everything should work. Hope this helps somebody. Bye.